What you see here, it's a heap of debris, typical of a scrapyard. But this isn't a scrapyard. What you see is the aftermath of a few hours of fire raising down the livelihood of those who sell and make their trade here at the Akere area of the Kirikiri Road in um, Olodia Papa, Jeremy Falodu, local government area. Over a hundred of them do business here. And if you understand the business of motor parts, you know that some of these things and most of these things cost quite a bit. You can see lower arms, you can see steering racks, you can see discs, you can see all sorts of shock absorbers, all sorts of spare parts that once was business and trade, but now has become ruined, running into millions and millions of naira loss um, for these traders here. The fear was there. It was palpable. It started coming two weeks ago, according to them, and they reported this to the security agencies, especially to the police around here, and they assured them and reassured them that their security and their goods were safe. Just between yesterday night and this morning, they came to their shop, and it's all lying in ruins. The shops have been raised, business down. Some of them say they are not out, and they hope to come out stronger. And they've got a very strong message for the Lagos State Government. Step out, step, step onto the plate, and make sure this is the last arsonist attack that will be witnessed in any market um, like this. And it's calling on the Lagos State Governor, especially, um, to make sure that all of those that are responsible for this activity are brought to book, and these guys can come back to their business and livelihood early enough. From Akere, here in Olodia Papa area, Olu Phillips, Channel Television News.